Hi, this is Carl the Cobra Frutch, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Carl for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here at the press conference for Lawrence Coley versus Mikol Sieslak. And fighting on the undercard is going to be British heavyweight prospect Fabio Wardley. Fabio, good afternoon, mate. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How's things with you, bud? Everything all right? Very well, thank you for asking. Uh, just recovering from the back of a very entertaining week up in Manchester between Abby Akhan and Kelbrook. Firstly, Fabio, before we obviously talk about your fight on Sunday night, just want to get your thoughts on what went down in Manchester between Abby Akhan and Kelbrook. I think it was entertaining, wasn't it? I think it was a bit different than what most of us expected. We didn't really expect it to kind of kick off and turn into fireworks that early on. Um, Amir, from the start, just didn't look particularly comfortable, didn't look particularly settled in the fight, um, and obviously just showed round after round, and unfortunately, Kel got him out of there, but it was um, it was a good fight for a while it lasted. I'm, I'm pretty sure you watched the build-up to the fight, you know. How much of a boost did that give you to not only push your career towards that level, but also make yourself involved in big British domestic fights that could potentially happen somewhere along the line of in perhaps later on in the year or maybe next year? Yeah, look, don't get me wrong, that's always the thing, isn't it? Like, you want to get to those big nights, you want to be on the on the main table, you want to be you want to be your face on the main poster and all of those kind of things. That's the level that all of us kind of coming through aspire to and not just that show, I went to the, the Chisora Parker show in Manchester at the, at the end of last year and that was like a massive event, like the arena was buzzing, I just sat there and thought I can't wait to this kind of to be my event in, in the not too far future. This promises to be a big year for the heavyweight scene, including fighters like yourself, Nathan Gorman, all fighters that are in that sort of mix for the British title right now but it's been a frustrating period for you, you've not been in the ring for a while due to an injury but back in on Sunday night against Daniel Martz got a very decent record, he's fought some good opponents, what type of a fight could you expect on Sunday night? Entertaining, um, I think if you look at his record he's always up for it, he's in, either he, he finishes his opponent or he gets stopped so that means he's he's got no fear of committing to it and getting stuck into the fight, he he wants to kind of meet fire with fire which I've, I've proved on many occasions I'm more than happy to do, with this one I'm not trying to do it, it's not something I want to kind of force out of the situation, I'd like to box a bit nicer, a bit cleaner um, and show off a bit more skills in, in my last couple of fights where I've just had to kind of dig in and, and grit it out so that's the hope of this one but obviously always finishing it up with a KO. With it being your first fight of the year what type of a performance are you looking to put on on Sunday night? Just a good clinical one nice it's not about anyone else for me it's about me and the team it's about as long as I put on a performance that I can go back to the team and we can sit down and be happy with I'm good with it I'm good with that so it's about boxing right not making any silly mistakes implementing some of the things that we've been working on in training in the build up to this and if we can tick them boxes then I'm happy Last year you fought on two big cards you know you got two good wins against Eric Belida and Nick Webb what has that, that experience done for you going forward in your career Fabio? It just settles you down doesn't it it makes everything more comfortable with events like this although this is a big event I've fought on much bigger cards um, at much kind of later times in the card and things like that as well. So I'm used to it now. I'm used to the cameras in your face and, and doing the press conference and the, the arena and everyone there and thousands of fans and stuff. So it all doesn't feel so daunting anymore. It feels quite normal almost. So um, it just helps settle you down and, and get you focused. Nathan Gorman was announced the other day that you'll fight on the Savannah Marshall on the card in Newcastle in a couple of months' time. Fabio, how confident are you that fight does get made at some point this year? Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident, yeah, fairly confident. I don't think um, between Eddie and Wasserman, they have, they have a pretty good relationship. They, they work together on different promotions and different stuff they do. So that's not impossible. Um, whether it's him or whether it's someone else potentially, maybe. Um, I think the, the thing I'm more confident about is that I'm definitely getting my hands on that British title this year. Nathan Gorman, he's an experienced fighter. He's been around for a while. He's fought for the British title before. What do you make of him as a fighter and how confident are you that you could beat him for that British title? He's a very good fighter. He's a very good fighter, don't get me wrong, but I definitely think I have the tools to beat him. I'm sure he probably feels the same about me, which is fair to him, but um, it's hard to judge because as of late, obviously, he's had a quite a bit of inactivity. He had that one fight against um, Richard Larty, which went the distance and to probably to his own his own admittance as well. It, it wasn't the best of his performances. It didn't look particularly great. So it's hard to judge off recent performances, but I think either way, it'll, it'd be a good fight. 
Just want to get your thoughts on a few things in the division right now. We're still waiting for the announcement of Fury versus White, but we understand Dillian White signed his, fight, signed his part of the contract. Excuse me. Um, yeah, your thoughts on Dillian White's chances against Tyson Fury. And what does he have to do to beat a fighter like Tyson Fury, who is arguably the number one heavyweight in the world right now? I think out of all the, the active top-level heavyweights at the moment, Dill's got the best chance against him. He has the best. He has the best plan to put together, best attributes to use to beat Fury. Um, obviously, doing it's a completely different thing, but I think he has everything there in front of him to be able to do it. Um, and obviously, he's he's been looking for this for for uh, like years. Maybe not Fury specifically. It was Wilder for a while, but that WBC belt, he's been hunting for this for years. So there's nothing that's going to stop him. Nothing that's going to get in his way. And I think he needs to not let Fury try and run the fight. Let him try, take control away from Fury and, and maybe make it a rough, a rugged fight and just dig into him and make it uncomfortable. Do you think that would be the best way to approach it, make it a dirty fight, you know, sort of try rough up Tyson Fury? Or is there any other way you could see Dillian White beating Tyson Fury on the night? I think that's probably one of the better ways to do it. Uh, and rough it, close that distance, get in there, rip to the body as, as we know Dill loves to do. Um, just focus on the things. I think the best plan with it is to stay away from what Fury does well. I mean, don't worry about those and focus on the things that you know you can do well and, and force those onto the fight. It looks highly likely that we're going to get a rematch between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. Obviously, the dates have not been confirmed, but we're pretty sure that's the path we're going to. Firstly, your thoughts on that rematch, and secondly, what, what, what does Anthony Joshua need to do to beat Alexander Usyk this time? What type of fight does he need to make it? Um, I think he needs to find himself in the sense of find a style that he knows he's confident in. Um, I feel like he was boxing for someone else when he went into that Usyk fight before. He was boxing maybe for the fans that said he couldn't box and move or he was boxing for his trainers that said they wanted him to box like that. I think a, a fighter is at his best when he's in a style that he's comfortable with. So if that is the big, heavy, 18, near on 19 stone bruiser that we have saw earlier in his career, then do that. Then, then come through with that. The best fighter out there are comfortable in the, what they do and, and they're happy with themselves. So I think that's what he needs to do. All right, top man. Well, Fabulous, and thank you very much for your time. Best of luck on Sunday night. We look forward to catch up with you soon. Cheers, bro. Thank you.